Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we are continuing with the nominated games Yay. playthroughs. And we're continuing on with 2600 today. Let me mm. get up my notes and I will tell you exactly which categories. So last time mm. we played through the completed 2600 originals and completed 2600 ports. Originals and ports. Yes, okay. Yes, completed ones. Okay. And today we're Hi going everyone. to be going through the subcategories okay. uh, of the completed games, which includes the best graphics and best music and sound. And we're also going to be playing the under four can under categories as okay. well. The small games that pack fun into a small amount of room. Mm -hmm. So I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers who are scrolling beside mm -hmm. Tanya. Al the Farms, Garcoda, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari Age, Bomber, MBR, Pocock, Buck Owens, Cafe Man, Tootie, Charles, Tree, Charles Whelan, Chai 5, Dino, Dan, Daryl 1970, Drex, All Dr. Moo Cows, Fox, Mulder, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Ivory Tower Collection, Johnny WC1, You're Out of Carl, G. Kev Kelly, Laurent, Laurent DZ, uh, Mark Spacing, Mick Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Lettow, Miss Command, MK Smith, Mr. Zarnu, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nathan Strum, Neo Media, or Don Necro. Packrat VG, Cog 2600, RC70, Render Ghost, Repentless G, VG, Ricardo Pam, Smitty B, Socrates, Spiceware, Samir, The Welshman, TQ Dan, KTM Events, Token Muncher, Trek MD, X Ken X. So, new people I s pronounce slowly because I've never seen their name. Yeah. <laughs> or or I, I've seen them only a couple times, so yeah. I have to like get it right. It's like in English class where they made you like read a passage from a book and you're yes. just like, oh God, there's a word, there's a big word. And the D train. <laughs> uh, yay, the D train. Thank you for resubscribing for 25 <laughs> months. Yeah. Um, so, if you want your name on the list, do what D train did yay. and hit subscribe. And if you just want to know when we're on the air, just hit follow and uh, it'll pop up on your phone or whatever. You have it set for. And uh, then we post on YouTube the day after. Mm -hmm. On Carl G. Yay, Carl G. 28 months. Wow. Wow, long time. Um, poll question. We have a poll question tonight. Let me get that poll going. It's exciting. Yep. Uh, I might have asked this before, but uh, I'm sure I've asked this, actually. And Render Ghost. You. Oh, oh hype train. Hype train. Crazy <laughs> hype train. Uh, come on. Um, More resubscriptions. <laughs> exactly. You have a limited time to earn exclusive emotes. Emotes. Um, physical versus digital. Which do you buy? Mm. Physical only. Servers eventually shut off and hardware breaks. That's true. Dis digital only. I don't have room for all the paper boxes and plastic. <sighs> and it's a waste. Well, I agree. <laughs> and number three. Physical and digital, yes. best of both worlds. I will answer one. Physical only. Yep. Uh, any, any retro games. You can make it retro games if you want. Yeah. This or is just in your general. regular games too. This, I mean, this is in general because I don't buy any digital games. Yeah. It's all physical, whether it's for PS4. Yeah. Or it's for 2600. Yeah. All the whole span there. I. I mean, it's PS5 now, but would say that's not i'm a th i'm a three because yeah. i do download games off steam from time to time yeah. so i cannot say 100 percent that cable what are you doing you bad kitty um yeah you do and eventually we yeah. will be buying digital because we'll yeah. be moving on from the ps4 <laughs> and the xbox and we won't get this the x and we won't get the uh ps5 mm. and so new games will literally pretty much only be digital there's yeah, some still yeah. um, places making PS5 on disc, but most of it's digital now. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Movies and such. Yeah. Movies are a different category because a lot is just digital. Well, uh, RC70 isn't a uh, hardware breaks original not reason not to buy physical. I'm talking about the actual consoles that you've downloaded these digital games onto. Yeah. The server's turned off and you're like, oh, I have to buy a new PS4 yeah. or PS5. I'll just go download the game again. Yeah. Oh, their servers are off and they're not offering that game anymore. Mm -hmm. It's poof, gone forever. Mm -hmm. Gone. You'll never get it again, that game. So, yeah, that's that's a reason I buy physical items because they go away. You're missing some good digital-only games. I know. Mm -hmm. I know there's a lot of good ones. But mm -hmm. the best ones will be released by uh, uh, limited-run games <laughs> and put Very on physical, which true. I buy tons and tons of. 
I have I'm spoiled for games, so I don't mm. I'm I'm not I'm not wanting more, let's say that. Yeah. Uh oh, that's all whited out. Because if I have something white on my screen yeah. over here, it goes blah. Yeah. Because <laughs> it's hitting right the camera edge. Yeah, that's true. I've got a Stuff. package. Yay, stuffs. I'm pretty sure I know what this is. Okay. Um, is this one you picked up? Kind of confused me by the box, like oh, the packaging, but the I, plastic packaging. I compared it to the tracking number, so I know what this is. Oh, um, And I thought it wasn't from Canada, but apparently it is from Canada. Mm. I'd go more physical, but if I can't, I go digital. Happens yeah. more and more. Yeah, it's going to be slowly moving over and limited run games now is not doing specific numbers very much anymore they're almost never doing specific really numbers. so they're just like selling open-ended yeah but they like it's, like one run of it they do one run they they do pre-orders and then they make yeah. it so that okay everybody's happy it's like there's it's not doesn't yeah. run out but it is a, still a limited number of them oh what all this is uh, that's a packing slip get me that and it's wrapped in a um, flyer from Shoppers Drug Mart. Shoppers Drug Mart. That's what it looks like to me. <laughs> yeah. Canadian chain store that carries everything. Except well, it's a drug fresh store. Fresh produce, but really? It's a drug store. Oh, they have electronics? They have yeah, food? No, that's more, you're th more thinking London, London drugs. London drugs. Oh, they do okay. have some food. They have food. But have food. London drugs. It's not like a Walmart. Am, it's, it's kind of amazing, actually. I There are no London drugs out east. and. They have a huge electronics part of that store. Very unique. It's a cable! <laughs> it is a cable. It is labeled Atari Video Cable H0A5PSE. S Video plus external audio S Video male, male, female, DIN, mini DIN 3.5 from HerculesWorkshop.com. Mm -hmm. um, so this is for the Atari 8 bit computer okay for video out to s video the S -video. one i have is very very thin oh and i see this I, is more substantial this is really thick it, it looks like, like really, really thick s video cable and, it, and i it looks like a power cord it's like you know yeah. like, like a brick from a brick to a computer like it's a pretty thick cord yeah so this is the same kind of tag that uh a value village uses i was like what did he pick it up from value village huh. um yeah. so yeah nice. The one I have is really, really thin cables. Okay. So I was like, uh, and it's kind of, it's kind of a bad image that it's putting on the screen. So I thought I'll get a really thick, proper one. Okay. Yeah. That uh, hopefully will uh, increase the quality. A lot of the packages that come to this house often contain cables. <laughs> so you just have to get excited. Of cables. <laughs> It's more it's cables. It's a cable. We have more cables. And I threw away a big plastic bag oh that it was God. literally garbage bag. That we went full. to the electronic recycling depot, yeah. and and the guy's like, "What are you bringing? Oh, cables!" And the, he, then he pulls this gigantic garbage bag of cables out of the, out of our trunk. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, that guy's. I'm sure cursing you right now. Oh, yeah, he doesn't care. He just throws it in That's the pile. That's true. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Um, so you want to show off what you have been up to? Oh, I've been just playing around and making stuff. I made this for James. I've been playing around with embedding stuff in resin. So I thought I'd make some zero page themed go, items. You want me to show it off to the camera? Oh, you okay. can show it off if you want. I can, I can Are go you going to pop you. those out? I'm going to pop these out. Right now? So okay. show that one first. This is one that I finished and I was just playing with. So I made some coasters. So this is the zero page coaster. Oh. Move it around a bit because it's pretty shiny. You can't really see the zero page. So that's black and gold. And then I poured a couple more. Here. Oh, you want me to pop them out? I you better pop, pop them out. So then this is another one, which is a little different. If you see this one, this is the outline. You have to talk up. Microphone's over okay. here. Okay, I can yell from across the room. So then I made this guy yesterday. Louder. Louder. Yeah, Tanya made it because uh, I did show off that one last episode. But Tanya made some more. I made some more. So there's just this last guy, night. Which is finished black. them off. Almost finished them off. I'm all about the glitter, by the way. There's, they're almost finished. They still need a coat it's upside on down. The top. Which way does this face? There you go. Black and gold. 
then bling enabled coasters yes yeah i'm all about the bling and then i have this guy rainbow with rainbow. uh rainbow are they stars sparkly white and stars oh it's all got stars it's all stars do you mind you uh, probably wrecked that cable already oh he has just so we can buy more Very nice. Rainbow. Tilt it. Yeah. It's kind of hard. There we go. Yeah. Very shiny. Very shiny. And then the last one, which I think you liked. Yes. I really like the way it's an outline. Yeah. I'm just going to put these here because I don't want them. They're still a little bit tacky. And then the last Nostalgic guy. says, I like the rainbow effect. It's reminiscent of the Atari rainbow. Exactly. Very purposeful. It's upside down. Yeah. That one's more of an outline like the gold one. Yeah, that one's really nice. So it'll be yeah. that will be see-through. Yeah. Uh, that's what I've been up to. Excellent. Mm. Oh. Oh. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Last one. Oh, you can't see through it. Okay. No, I thought it's it was white. completely see-through. No, no, it's got a white background. I mean, I can make them see-through. No, no, it's better with that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Anyway. So those are coasters for the game room. <laughs> game room coaster aka Ooh. my office um so that is the mail uh let's take a look at some of the news ish kind of stuff here mm. so thomas yench alerted me to this oh monitoring the wrong monitor let's fix that i can stream a how-to episode <laughs> <laughs> sure um Okay, so there is a developer called Simo. Okay, I, re um, I recall that name, yeah. C Simone? Simone Sierra? I can't remember the real name. Mm -hmm. um, they have a YouTube channel, and from time to time, they post videos of the games they're working on. Mm. They have not been on Atari Age since 2015, the Atari Age forums. Okay. Um, they haven't released a binary of any of these games that we've been looking at over the years since wow. then either. Okay. But they continue over the years to post new video game new videos of the games they've been working on. On but not posting the binaries. I have no idea and there's no way to contact this person either. Okay. Um they've disabled comments. Uh, there's no record of them online anywhere else. Okay. Um so let's ZPH craft so here <laughs> is a video they posted the other day. Uh, Thomas Yanch alerted me to this video. Um, so this is Playfield Volume 1. It's got Atlas, Bloom, Juniper, 237B, Needles, and Palomino. Now, we've seen the other ones already, but we have not seen Bloom as far as I know. There you go. Atlas, Bloom, Juniper, 237B, Needles, Palomino. 2022... Simone Sarah. There we go. We can't see it. They Someone can now. I just oh. did it. Um, so we're going to take a look at Bloom because that's the new one. Bloom is and a game from what played I... in two phases. During the first, you have to make the seeds bloom on the field while avoiding the flowers. During the second phase, you will have to gather the flowers while avoiding the evil seed that wants to catch you. So this looks like a very cool little game. Mm. You're making blooms of flowers, throwing them all over the screen. Okay. Um, and then, after things change, right now there's no danger. Now there's danger, and you have to collect all the ah. blooms. And avoid the little dot. And collect oh. as many blooms as you can. And your time is out. Oh, they almost got all of them. And now you plant flowers ah, again. Cute. Yeah, and... and Oh, because it's not plugged in. It's yeah. going to turn off all the time. So, Simo makes these crazy little games that are very creative and have a lot of interesting sounds um, based on the movement and things you see on the screen. And so, I really, really like their games. But you can't download them. Just They're fun they're to just watch. They're just teasing us. <laughs> They're and Needles is in a uh, pack of games that uh, 
is available to play on other releases. Um, this one as well. It has voices as well. But anyway, I thought uh, it'd be neat to take a look at that. So you can watch that video on YouTube if you'd like to go check that out. Um, so RushJet1 posted this in the forums the other day. I'm going to show you the post here. Someone was asking what the YouTube channel name is. Of SEMO? Yeah. Damn it. Did you disclose it? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, it's still open, actually. Never yeah. Mind. It is... Here, let me let me just post the link to the to the video. You missed the S. So I that think, you, yeah. There we go. I don't know why this computer is not charging. And it's probably the cable got chewed one too many times. By the cat. Don't don't press on it. Well, I'll get another that, cable. That is the issue, but yeah. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> just leave computer it. Computer And just touch it every once in a while. So it the the uh, channel name is S twenty six hundred seventy eight hundred. Mm -hmm. So let's take a look at what. Rush Jet 1 posted. Some of these have been uh, Atari 2600 TIA unfinished and unreleased tracks. Rush Jet 1 makes unbelievable TIA music. Like, mm. can you move that cable? He's going to mm -hmm. chew it. Um, unbelievable music. Like, unbelievable music. I don't even know how it's possible to make some of this music. Can you move the cable? I, I'm watching him. I'm watching him. Well, yes. he's about to chew it. I know. Some of these have been linked in the forums here, but I've not put them on YouTube. Most of them are unfinished, though. So some of these we've heard before, but I'm going to play some of the ones we haven't heard before. Mm. Um, yeah, we'll look at it in this form. Actually. So this is uh, a tracker. I'm just going to turn it down here. And uh, they go through a lot of the uh, music. It's just a big compilation of 12 minutes of their music. Um, this one's impressive. And this is a very, very well-known one called Bad Apple, where people have ported a music video and this song to every platform you can imagine, even on the 2600. Hmm. It's like a faux motion video. And uh, really, really kind of pushes the limits of a bunch of systems, especially the older ones. And his ball blazer, an incredible rendition of ball blazer. Hmm. Maybe I'll turn it up a little bit for you guys. Um, Bomberman. Yeah, the silhouette video where it's just black and white, everything's in silhouette. Like that. You, I may have shown it once to you. Um, another one I wanted to play for you guys. Um, so he did the Daredevil music. Oh, nice. Yeah, which is yeah. Fun. Oh, it sounds so Echo. good. It sounds so good. <gasps> but it's this one. <laughs> Send his own rendition. I love the <laughs> it was played during our warm up every day in elementary school. Well, we would run around the gym in a circle when we, like elementary so school, burned very into young. your brain. It it was the popcorn song every time. I love it. I yeah. love that song. The it makes me want to run around every time I hear it. Seven eight hundred version <laughs> Ball Blazer didn't need the pokey chip after all. Wow. No, it's it's that good. Wow. Their rendition of it. And one more. Kind of cool. but they're really good at somehow getting echo. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Wow. I think they're playing the note and decreasing the volume. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you hear that one track? That's everything. Yeah. It's right after this one. Oh, is it? Yeah. Um, wow. Some of the best music you'll ever hear coming out of a TIA is done by Rush Jet. That's the one track that infects everything I do. So I'll, I'll, um, 
post a link to this so you can uh, everybody can check it out later. Really, really good to listen to all that. So, Carlos Madruga, C. Madruga, messaged me mm-hmm. about... Actually, he messaged me before this, um, a couple weeks before, saying, Hey, um, I'm really into Intellivision. Are you... Can you stop him? <laughs> he stinks <laughs> so bad today. He's waiting for treats. <laughs> Um, Rush did, did the music for Ricky and Vicky. Yes, they did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ricky and Vicky music is incredible. Oh, yeah. Um, so C. Madruga messaged me saying, hey, you do the Atari Homebrew Awards. Do you want to do the Intellivision games and add that in? Yeah. And I'm like, maybe, yeah. but not this year because it's already like, <laughs> a little too it's late. already happening. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so they're like, hey, I'm going to go do them myself then. And I'm like, awesome. Somebody yeah. needs to. Somebody needs to uh, do that for time. sure. Yum, yum, oh, yum. oh, Carl G, thank you. Oh, this cat is so happy. Good timing. Oh, oh my goodness. That was a weak ding. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, double time. <laughs> it's like ding, one ding. didn't work. I'll uh, smack it a few more times. Bad kitty. Um, so he said, uh, I wouldn't mind if you said that we... So after he started it and he did it... You are rewarding bad behavior. Yeah. <laughs> But it stops him from doing the bad behavior. It's, it's, terrible. it's, it's terrible. It's a bad feedback loop, yeah. Um, so, so he did it on his own, right? Um, and he said, I wouldn't mind if you said that we were inspired by the great organized work you do- guys do. <laughs> and are trying to revamp a little bit, uh, things a little bit on the Intellivision side. Nice. So if you're an Intellivision enthousi- enthusiast, so head over there and throw some votes that way. And then let me just quickly show you guys the Intellivision side of things. Oh, no, no, no. You got to smack it better than that, cat. So I'll post a link to it if you guys play Intellivision. But, I mean, we're not an Intellivision channel. (laughs) We have played it once, one show on it. Mm -hmm. But I'm sure there's some people out there. So it used to be called Game of the Year. Um, and now it's been in, renamed to Intellivision Homebrew Awards, which sounds like our awards, right? <laughs> Atari Homebrew Awards. Fair enough. I mean, it's a very good name. It is a good name. <laughs> so, yeah. Makes sense. Um, You're not going to confuse the purpose, so, yeah. No. So the voting is okay. open, and it closes February 6th, the same day ours does. Oh, good. Uh, 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, and uh, I'm guessing the results will be on uh, Papa Pete's stream. And there they've got all the uh, information and all the nominees. And oh my God. <laughs> More. And More so treats. they've got, you know, game of the week, game of the year, physical, best music and sound, best port, best graphics, best physical patch- mm. packaging, best game of the year, digital. So there you go. If you put the bell to Atari's right, would he use his right paw to ring the bell? Oh, that's a good question. We always put it to his left. Let's see. He's like, don't move it. Yep. Oh, yeah. He is ambidextrous. He is ambidextrous when it comes to treats. <laughs> so that answers your question. Good question, though. Yeah. Atari 2600 dude. Something we can actually test out. There you go. The test for that for humans is to throw a ball to somebody oh. in the air. And, and see if they go like that. And you don't tell them what you're doing. Yeah. And you just wait for them to catch it. Uh, and they'll put up one hand or the other. Like instinctually. I'd put up my right hand. I would hand. put up my right hand, too. Don't put his bell away. <laughs> It's over. Oh. He's had, he'll get some more treats he'll get, later. We know he'll get more, so we don't want to uh, we fatten, don't him, want up to fatten him up too much. <laughs> he does run around. so Yeah, it's true. It's he true. works it off. Yeah, by oh. being bad, usually. Okay, it's time to get to the game. Yay! Um, it's my favorite time of the year, by the way. Is you it? You have to play the best games. The best of the best. The best, best Kitty Zooms. He does have Kitty Zooms. Yes. Uh, so we're going to start off with the... Atari 2600 Best Homebrew Under 4K Original Games. Now, I do have the list somewhere, um, but we'll switch over and just start that up. <laughs> um, this uh, right controller. Aha. Yes, treats in moderation. <laughs> That's right. You don't want to like all, up the cats too much. Or like all look. things, well, except yeah. video games. Except for video games, which is not as in moderate, not in moderation. Yeah. 
Not for me, at least. Okay. So go to uh, Worst, under 4K. Worst places. Under today's date? Is that today's Always date? Always today's what, date. What date is it? Oh, it's the 25th. So original. Oh, my goodness. These? Yeah. 4K yep. original? Yep. And we're going to do them in alphabetical order. So Alien, Alien Eliminator. Eliminator. Cool. All things in moderation, especially moderation. Yes. Thank you, Captain Classic. <laughs> So actually, I was sent an updated version this of this is. game, Yeah. but we can't play it. Oh. Because <laughs> we have to play the last version in 2021 oh, that was released. Okay. Or else they'll just keep updating it and updating yeah. it and updating that's it. A fair, that's a fair rule. Has to be a cutoff date somewhere. Yeah, it's you know? very true. Um, so go ahead and play it. You know this one because you've played it. Do I? Yep. Oh, yes. And soon, we'll, soon after the awards, we'll play the updated version. He sent me a new one recently. And it's got, you know, more levels and Ooh. stuff like that. I always like that. How do I... How do I jump? Ah. This one does not have sound. I do know that. Uh. I can't remember what to do. <laughs> can you shoot up? Uh, I think you have to jump and shoot that one. Because um, oh. that one will just, just kill you. Yeah. Like you can't avoid that one by jumping, jumping away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, Alien Exterminator by Nintendo slash Joe6502, ah. who uh, is not on the Atari Age forums, but I was able to get in contact through to them through, I think, their web page, and they, and they had a an email address on there. Yeah. So I did get in contact with them, um, and they sent me their final version of the game. Ooh. So I'll be oh, this... looking forward to... Uh, that was your power up, so you'll have to do oh, more. Oh, are supposed to catch it? Yeah. See, I forget things so quickly. So that, so those would only take like two shots ah. instead of one. And game over. Okay, no, no, another go. <laughs> uh, what? We gotta power through these. Uh, no, what are you doing? I'm sorry. Actually, I think this is the game where you have to turn it off. Do and you? turn it back on. Oh, yeah. fair enough. I think it is. Okay, I just need another shot remember. because it sometimes... <laughs> You it's forget. a forever dragon fire bridge. Yes. Yeah. That's true. That is a good description. Whoa, Captain 2600 Classic. Contra. Yeah. It's <laughs> a little it's, bit. It's got a lot of yeah, things like that. Yeah, a lot of that. Contra similarities for sure. So this time you'll be able to get that power up. Oh, I hope so. And be able to shoot always, a little bit better. I always forget. Yeah, you have to stop to turn around. You can't outrun it. No. Not in this you one. You kind of run and stop. Run and stop. So this category is uh, all about games that are 4K and under. So a lot of the original 2600 releases back in the 70s uh, started at like 2K and 4K. So there's kind of a tradition to oh. try and make... Oh, get another line. Uh, oh, to try sweet. and make games that still fit in that small amount of space and do the best. There you go. Uh, now good. you've got power up. Oh, destroyed one shot nice oh. die yeah thanks so it's kind of a challenge to to make the best game you can in 4k yeah for, ah, ah missed you missed it. it oh now i don't have my one power life left up. Boo. oh no yeah oh there it is just in time nice just oh it does have some sound just really 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 quiet let me turn it up like the double shot i'm not a fan of that doesn't have sound for everything i do like that when you shoot it it's bullet disappears too oh yeah that is very handy Ooh. doesn't give you anything more that's okay i'll take it just in case. James, I ah! forget. The 4K games is only a limit on ROM. Um, yeah, just a limit on the ROM. The RAM, because you make your own RAM, mm -hmm. right? You fill up the RAM using the ROM. No, no, I'm not going to play. We're nope. going to power through it. Okay. Fair enough. Ooh, some, I... might, some I might play, but not this one. I was going to say, is can this, this be Atari Age Day where I just get to play games for like three Oh, hours? that's coming up. That's <laughs> coming up <laughs> in March, maybe? Also my favorite. <laughs> So this one is Chaser, a 2K game by Carl Garrison. Carl okay. G, who's in? Keep going. I'll load it up. Come on. Oh, this needs a Quatari. 
Oh, this is actually two player games. Can I do things? Oh, I can, but it's kind of gonna make things crazy. What am crazy. I trying to do? Trying to get this thing? Yep. And then you complete the second half of it. I'm gonna patrol it over here. I can. Oh, oh damn it! Ha. I die if I touch it. Good to know. So you get a point. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I have to touch you for a point. That's right. Yeah. So this is a four-player game. You can use a quad party to play, um, and have four things. Are That's you? Do you change color every time? No, I'm just the yellow one. You? I thought you were purple before. No. And if you look at the way this is made, it's, it's pretty super, cool. super clever. Ah! ah! Go. No! Stop it! Why am I not going down? Go down! Ah! Uh. Oh! <laughs> ah! It's Pac-Man! Except I'm controlling the ghost! there's four people playing, you'd be in trouble. Yeah, I think I would be. Ah, 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 ah! Oh, finally! <laughs> oh my god, I killed myself. Yep. Oh, no, no, no. Ha, <laughs> ah. ha. What are you? Are you green? <laughs> no, I'm yellow. You're really I'm far yellow. away from me. It's just I'm kind of controlling the other guys, too. Oh, are you? Because some of my movements translate to their movements. <laughs> it's just oh, coincidence. Funny. Just the way it works? Yeah. Oh, that's And funny. they seem to just go in your direction, too, because... Oh, what? Ah! <laughs> Is it wrong to use the Sega Mega Drive controller in 2600? No, people love uh, using that controller, actually. And it's button-for-button button mapped. And also, some games support a second button on the Sega uh, controller um, because it is uh, accessible to the 2600. Nine points. Yeah, we both run. Here. Hey. Come from below. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> is there limitations on your movement? Ah. Like you can't stop. Oh, I can't stop either. I don't think I can stop. Ah, although, no, I can. I can hit a corner. Oh, I, I kind of do accidentally. Oh, he got me. <laughs> my minions. My mindless minions got you. Yeah. Mindless. Oh, actually, I control purple and yellow at the same time. A little time. bit. A little bit. Oh, so I can actually control two things at the same time. Damn it. Oh, now they're on top of each other. <laughs> Funny. So that's pointless. Yeah! Nice. <laughs> so... Great game for four players. Oh, I have to add this to my four-player day, actually. Four-player day? Yeah, yes. this would be really good. It's kind of like that Pac-Man game where you can play the ghosts. Yes, it, it really is. Yeah. Um, and it's 2K, which is pretty good. Okay, four-player. Yeah. Okay, mm. so next game is Hellway. Mm. 4K. Oh, I Octavia. control one of them according to Vitoko. I also control one of them with my oh, own that's movement. Why it was, that's why I was kind of. That's oh, funny. that makes sense. Yeah, it wasn't really. Girl G. The Ooh, game. there's a four player day coming up. That's yes, there point. is. Yeah. In the future. Don't know when. I don't know when. Okay. Yep. Hellway? Yep. So we're just going to play one variation of this game. Oh. Is it doing at the top oh, it's there? curving. Why is it curving? I thought that was something we fixed. I did fix. Oh, I know why. And I know why it's been so dark. Because ah. I didn't load up the profile. Oh. Fancy. There. He's telling us. I always forget. How are you going to play the joystick? Here, I'll put it out here so you guys can see if he does it. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay, load it up. We're, there's a ton of variations of this game, mm -hmm. but just play the the basic variation. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, I have started amassing a good list of four player games. So we're going to have four people over and mm. play through, have a, a round robin, well, a tournament of all four players. Yeah. And we'll keep score and see who comes out victorious. And we'll have a little trophy because you can make trophies now. I can make trophies yeah. now. Oh, yeah. That's the other thing I'm working on in my little arty projects. Playing with off. the resin. Playing with the resin. Resin and Making glitter. Stuff. <laughs> yep. Yes. So this game is by um, Octavio Pino Bocal uh, and Leonardo Noguera, uh, who did the art. Now you're invincible. You're invincible. You're invincible. And you're not. Uh, uh, try I'm, I'm to bad. I never want it. to slow down. That's the problem. What is that at the top? Oh, what do you call that? Hexadecimal? hexadecimal. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a very compact way of displaying information. Yeah. And so one is... Oh, I forget all the things. One is your timer. It's counting down. That's the middle one. And I think the right-hand side is... The left-hand side is your score. Right-hand side is your speed. Psst, psst, psst. Get out of there. What is he doing? Just thinking about that cable. Medieval Mayhem is definitely on that day. Hex for the win. What is the largest kilobyte game? That's a good question. Definitely 128. Has there been a 256? Well, there's been... I think a 512. But it doesn't... It only runs on the emulator. I think. They should just call this highway driving. It's and like the left lane's the fastest technically, right technically, if you count the movie cart, there's infinite. Like True. It just keeps it going and going and going and going and going and going. But as far as games go... Oh, what else? Flevin T5. <laughs> the only 2600 game I can recall using Hex is Scuzzy Side. Are there any others? 32K was the biggest game back in the day. I think there was a 64K. Really? It's called Mega Boy or something. But it, I think it was a compilation um, binary where it had multiple mm. games. Yeah, so it wasn't a single game. How big were the Supercharger cassette games? That's a very good question. How much could the Supercharger hold? Because the games would load off cassette tape onto memory through an audio cable mm -hmm. and this external thing would be the cartridge so it would be a way for people to program their own games and load it onto their own systems and play them it was one it was the first multi-cart system mm -hmm. i mean it was used for legitimate retail games back when the 2600 was actually put out um yeah 2600 out of 6507 which is a modification of the 6502 with some pins cut oh, you're still going checkpoint kicking ass you're playing the default game i am um, i think <laughs> it's not too bad i is this the one that changes because now it looks more sparse it does change between how dense the because look the how empty are. it is right now you're kicking ass just keep going I think Super Kart Charger games are 6K. Ooh, okay. You could use a 6K space for both ROM and RAM. Ah, that's why it was so powerful. That's a lot of RAM. Oh, And Dad. you're done. So why do I have a tube of 6504s? <laughs> I don't know. Why do you? <laughs> Must be useful for something. Uh, Circus Convoy was 128. Yes, that is mm, correct. That makes okay. sense. Okay, now it is K. Joe Chases the Cheese. Ooh. Atari 2600, are you only going to play homebrew four-player games? Well, for four-player day. On that, on four-player day, for yes. sure. I've got a pretty good list. Um, oh, homebrew four-player. That's what he's asking. Oh, I Not see. Not just four-player, but homebrew. Yes, it is just homebrew four-player. So that means we'll get to play Medieval Mayhem, and it still counts. <laughs> um, 
So this game is Ch hey Joe Chases a Cheese by Red Button Games um, slash Leonardo Santiago. And we had a lot of premieres of this uh, game. Mm -hmm. um, Did you send a copy? I did. There you go. Some more things to look at. Keijo, Keijo chases the cheese. And the Keijo sounds similar to queso, which means cheese. Queso. Mm. In uh, <laughs> Spanish, right? Queso. Queso. Mm. Mm, is correct. Good one. Nice puzzles with these mazes. Yes. And can you believe this game fits on 4K? Like all these mazes, the great sound and graphics. Ah! Super Breakout, maybe the only one 5200 to support four players. Oh, from back in the day, yeah. How many original four-player games were there? Well, for 2600, they would have to be paddle games because that's the only way you could play... F Ooh, oh, I did a terrible um, job. Oh. And... Oh, ah! so close. Would have been a couple more movements. Your turn. Uh, you like this game. Yeah, know, you won't play really too far. long. What is the best cheese? Ah, damn it. Uh, oh, you unscrewed this all the time. Drives me crazy. Portuguese, not Spanish. What? Oh, Portuguese. Yes, sorry. Brazilian, yeah. I mean, queso is also Spanish. But... Yeah. <laughs> queijo? Queijo might be a Portuguese, instead of Portuguese way of saying it, right? Yeah. Not, yeah. I love the way the sound of the mouse movements. Oh, yeah. I vaguely recall oh. Video Olympics Sporting 4, but don't quote me on that. Super oh, Breakout on the 2600 it. was four player, two teams of two. Mm. Yeah. So they, they would all have to be paddle games. Mm -hmm. and, I'm, and I'm saying simultaneous four players. Because there's <laughs> tons of four players where it's you hand off the joystick. And, Oh God! The That's Olympics good. said quadrupong. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, he's Cafe Man Two D. I know. Just let him be. He's just a cat. He's just a cat. He's chewing fluff off the floor. The cables it. aren't cheap. They are expensive USB-C charging know. cables. Kittens, really? That's why he likes them, because they're people so are, expensive. People are talking <laughs> about their favorite cheeses right now. Oh, okay. I've got uh, uh, pepper jack, sharp cheddar. Sharp cheddar with good. hot peppers. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yeah. I am a big fan of Asiago cheese. I don't think I like Asiago. Oh, I like Asiago cheese. I just like it. I like it on everything, to be honest. <laughs> and Havarti. Especially Havarti with, mm. like jalapenos or herbs hey you are a bad cat hi steeplechase but i love blue cheese and brie oh blue cheese Swiss. yes yeah eat em. oh there's lots of opinions out there <laughs> wow. on cheese yeah there are a lot of good cheeses out there's there. there's lots of stinky stinky cheeses out there buffalo mozzarella <laughs> lots of good cheeses okay. are there any canadian cheeses Ooh, i don't uh, think so not famous ones anyway. I know. Okay. That's it for this one. Did you hear about the explosion at the time. cheese factory? I feel like there's a cheesy... Uh... Is that a joke or a yeah. real thing? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Load Maybe the next one. Legendary Spear. Legendary Load Spear. The next one, please. How yeah, many we are got we playing today? A ton. Oh, That's why okay. I have to power through <laughs> I'm them. like, there's only six. No, this <laughs> I don't what think are you I understand. About? This is not a regular day. Oh, this game. So this is um, Legendary Spear by Dave Christensen, uh, aka Dave uh, C. So it's kind of like Stampede. Oh. oh, you died. Wait, do I have to stab things? Yes, you have to stab things. Oh, okay. Was I not stabbing things there, properly? That's how you stab things. No, you weren't. Huh. You were not. What kind of cheese gets used for poutine? Oh, Ooh, cheese curds. Cheese curds. So it's kind of Canadian, I guess. No, oh, you died. I did much better last time. You should hang back. Joust and stampede. Yeah. Because oh. you're very forward, which doesn't give you much reaction. I time. know. 
This one has a very nice sunset. Yeah, I like it. Very nice uh, running animation, lots of colors. Oh, Sam, too far. Yeah. No, you, you can't get under. Your... You really have to be... Oh, you missed again. Did I? Yeah, because you have to stab with your, your pointy <sighs> My stick. My timing is terrible. Pointy stick. Yeah, it does look really good. Feta. Ooh, and this is a 2K good. game as well. Yep. So, fun stuff. There are a Next lot of Canadian cheeses. Star. I don't recognize any of the names. Yeah, I don't think we're really known for having particular no. cheeses. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Star AD 4K by Zan. Now, I don't recall if we ever played this on the oh, show. Oh, really? Hmm. It might be so. a premiere then. <laughs> Not a premiere. Premier, premiere in the show. On the show, I mean. <laughs> premiere means nobody's played it. Oh, Notch Couch compliant. <laughs> Chains. Minus, minus one. Played similar games. Neat. Oh, oh it moves. yeah. Cool little star field in the back. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out if there's a pattern to it. It's fairly random, it looks like. Oh. Uh oh. I can't shoot from behind? Well, loop around then. Oh my goodness. Clever. I can't shoot from behind. What ah! Do what you just did then. <laughs> Panicking. Panic cat. Well, I am a panic cat. <laughs> Um, this is a 4K oh! game. I couldn't uh -oh. see it. Was it it came up from behind. Oh. It was very dark. Oh, gotta stay in the middle of the screen. It Safe was very zone. dark. It was a dark color. It was a dark green. Like dark green on yeah. black. Oh, danger area. Uh oh. I like that though. Oh my god. It's a very oh, I played this offline. Have you? So you have to get. I'll tell you when it comes on the screen. That thing. You just have, have to, to touch it. it. Ah. Dying. Oh. <laughs> I'll play. Impressive for 2K. Oh, couch compliant. <laughs> Chance. Ah! And it doesn't give you time to react no. when you reset it. A second type of stage. That's pretty. That's for pretty a 4K impressive. game. It is really impressive. It's good to be true. Oh, really the gotta, cheese puns. Really got to plan out your game to fit it a lot into a. Mm. A uh, 4K or a 2K game with multiple stages, music, and lots of graphics. So you should leave it down and then go up and over. And it gives you the most room. Nice little sound in between the stages mm. and big it's, screen fonts and, and you can see the, the stars still flashing there. Pot, by yeah. there oh still there the yeah. stars kind of gives the the illusion of like um static almost <laughs> i kind of like it i like it so if you're using an rf connector you won't even notice <laughs> it'll just be part of it oh. that's amazing i got out too yeah wow i didn't get out last time no? Wow, wow good job. And rinse, repeat. Oh, different enemies. Slightly. Yeah, like different rolling colors. boulders. Mine were rolling boulders. Were they? Yeah, they were okay, like purple. different colors. Different color. You can't avoid those. I like the okay. music. Very mm -hmm. ominous. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. ominous music. Oh, you hit it. Yep. Those are dangerous. And they come from behind. Yeah, and track you. Ugh. Oh, there's a dark red one. It was a little hard to see. Mm. Destroy Spy. Mm. Oh, another level. Wow. I didn't get this far last time. Oh my to god. Shoot it, I guess. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. So you have to Oh. Wow, okay. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah, lots of polish for 4K. Yep. Okay, Stages we're going to move on to too. That's awesome. 4K ports, okay. which is more of a rare category because to port a game from something else into 4K and to squish into 4K is very hard. Mm -hmm. So dodge it by Zan. 
<laughs> it's got some music. So this is a 4K game. Looks like a dog. I'm just listening to music. It's got some music. music. Yeah. It's got a title screen. Very unusual for 4K. Yeah. SRAM. That's a good question. I don't d think so. No, because they didn't store anything. <laughs> so the game's called Dodge It, so I'm guessing don't touch anything. Oh, nice little movements. Oh. Ah, okay, it's one of these games. We haven't played this game on the show. The things bounce around, and you have to collect the things. Collect the hearts. Oh my goodness, there's oh. so many smushed, smushed doggy. Oh, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> okay, my turn. Your turn? It's a very short game, so. I like this little guy, too. He's very cute. <laughs> He's really it's like cute. like a teddy bearish kind of guy. Level two. Tunnel Runner, I believe, did it. I believe did. What? Oh, oh was it Ram. Mountain King? Oh, interesting. Oh. Static RAM, which means it can keep things mm. memory from game to game. I think Junior Pac-Man may have had extra RAM to support the large mazes. Extra RAM, yes. Yeah. But I thought he was talking about RAM that you could save things on from mm. game to game. Oh, I see. Mutant Teddy Bear Needs Hearts. Yes, good summary. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty much he's kind of all a, you need. He's kind of a freaky looking teddy bear. Level three. He's kind of smushed. I like the noises. I like it when there's sound to movement. I, I, yes. um, it just makes the game feel more dynamic somehow. Like, yeah, I like that. if they're all bouncing at yeah. the same time. Yes. <sighs> D D D DVD D player bouncing icon the game. <laughs> I didn't mean battery back death RAM. Oh, okay. Mm. Oh yeah, there was RAM in games. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Yeah, I like this little guy. I think I've mastered the game though, unless it gets harder. Oh, it looks like it's getting harder. I, I'm wondering if you get more each round. Not more things bouncing. More five? No, I guess you're, you, that's limited. Somewhat limited. They're already flashing, but most of them aren't on the same line yeah. all the time. Mm. <laughs> Just ran into oh, it accidentally. Yeah, it, it materialized under you. <laughs> In the middle. So cute. I wonder if it's time based or heart based and the hearts are released at a certain time. Anyone feel like he's running around on a pol Polaroid? Like. <laughs> Could be. Kind of what it reminds me of. It's like a picture of a bear. Yeah. Live picture. I think I've mastered this game. I don't know. Nope. Oh. I don't. <laughs> and then I don't. Time to go on. 1300, new high score. Shake it. Shake Pretty it good. like a Polaroid. Uh, Pong. Uh, oh, this may be a... Uh, Hard? I know. A paddle game. Oh, well, we'll, we'll find out soon. Okay. Hi, Arena Foot. Oh. Oh, no, it's not. It is not a paddle game. It is a joystick game. Or joystick paddle and paddle. Pong. It's, it's Pong. It's Pong. <laughs> <laughs> it's Pong with no score? I think uh, we should just have a, have... A, a, a whole day just called It's Pong. Oh, boy. <laughs> there are a lot of Pong 2600 games. I wonder, whole... I wonder if you spent 10 minutes playing every Pong game ever made, how long you would oh, be playing. You wouldn't get out of the 70s. True. Because there were hundreds and hundreds of enclosed console. Oh. What are you doing? You're making oh, me hair. lose. <laughs> is there there's no on my scores. Face? There's no score. Oh, there's no score. Because oh, you is... lost and it didn't come up. 
Uh, Super that's basic called Video fun. Olympics. Oh, that would take up your old time too, because there's like oh yeah, yeah, hundreds yeah. of variations in Video Olympics. Yeah. I don't know how many variations of Video Olympics are there. Pong with no scores, part of the original Odyssey, <laughs> might be. I don't have notes on all these because it would take forever to get those notes together. Yeah. But you can go check out the thread in the Atari Age forums on this one. I wonder. I'm curious. Arena Foot jumped in. How many Pong entries there are in his books? Oh, wow. Well, I don't know if you'd know that off the top of your head. He, I'd just be curious. <laughs> he would have it in the spreadsheet. In the spreadsheet. And you could do a search on Pong. Wow, it would be a lot. It would be a yeah. lot. Um, even Thomas's Ram Pong had a way of Ram keeping score. <laughs> oh, thank you for following uh, Chelsea Donya Mao. Chow, Chelsea Donya Mao? Oh, that's a tough one. Thank you for following. Glad you enjoyed the show. Yeah. Okay, it's Pong. Moving on. <laughs> it's Pong. Arena Foot says, zero in my books. In the sheet, hold on. So he's going to look up how many Pongs there are in his sheet. Was that made with players or missiles? Oh, Ooh, good question. Yeah, okay, good next question. one. We've got to keep moving. All right, all right. Soul of the Beast. Soul of the Beast. Amazing, and I'm not very good at this game. So we have played this on the show. Oh, not couch compliant. Very, very nice looking game. It's made by Michael Christofferson, a.k.a. Airform. There's an underground, there's an above. It's quite impressive for 4K, like incredibly impressive. It's got parallax scrolling at the top of the... I still don't know well, how to do it. You have to um, just get it the right distance from yeah. him to punch him. Love that sky. Didn't realize this was. I I keep kept forgetting it was 4K when we played it on the show. Like that's and it's got multiple enemies. Ah, oh, I meant to run. That one kills you. Like yeah, I know. Really quick. Very bad. That was very. Should bad. comply to affect our voting. I don't know. <laughs> if it affects you. if it affects your voting, it affects your voting. It's 4K, so I'm assuming that's not always. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Oh. Oh. Well, it did. Oh, it is couch compliant. It takes a while. Or did you not press a button? No, I did. I did. Oh, okay. It just... Oh, come on! Can you duck and punch? No. Just duck. <laughs> yeah, we don't tell you how to vote. Yeah, you decide your own criteria. You could close your eyes and throw darts. You could base it on how much fun a game is. You can base it on if you have in-depth knowledge of how difficult this game was mm -hmm. to make. Like something if... positive. That's yeah, all it is. something, something... positive. Something that you enjoyed. Because on this one, you could go, wow, this is amazing for 4K, right? Ugh, the timing on What they're so able tight. to squeeze out of 4K. Fancy score, too. Yeah. Yeah, very fancy it's score. Every Tower Collection says, it's amazing how much you were able to repl uh, they were able to replicate the original. If you've seen the original game, you would immediately know what game this was because yes. of how all well the elements were represented. 100% true. Mm -hmm. Like, the running animation... Uh, the different creatures in it, the above and below ground. This is actually a, quite a marvel for 4K. Things come up on you really fast. Uh, they do. It's a tough game. <sighs> tough, tough game. And you can't run while punching, which also makes it very hard. You have to stop, punch, and then continue running. Yeah, yeah apparently your legs and arms can't move at the same time. <laughs> oh, no, no. It's too much for this guy. It's too much. Yeah. But it was... A marvel of creation of a game when it came out. Like, unbelievable. For the looks of it. Hi, I know you want that cable. What are you doing? Don't do that. And the below ground oh. scroll. What the scroll. heck? It's fire breathing something. Droplet of water. And a lot of different enemies in this, actually. Hard to get through. Oh, God. You can do it. Stop talking to me. <laughs> da, 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 da. Come on. Yay! <sighs> Didn't get injured. It's really hard when someone... Uh, I think that killed me. Uh, no, still unharmed. 
Oh, oh. Still unharmed. Well, I guess so. Phaser Cat Games, to be fair, throwing effective punches while running is pretty difficult. It's true. <laughs> oh, and, come uh, on. I like that seven. Lopta says, uh, uh, I can't run and punch at the same time either. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Ah, you're standing in the water. Snake. You just, you're, yeah. Oh, here's a boss or the boss. I can't remember. Doesn't put up much of a fight. I don't think it's a boss. No. Oh, one pixel away. Smart to turn around. Well, I think you're close enough. Punch. Ugh, there you go. I had to go one pixel closer. <laughs> Must one be hard water. <laughs> Bad joke. Bad joke, Carl G. Ah! Oh, one hit point left. <sighs> You're almost to the boss, I'm sure. No. No? Was there a boss? I don't know. We gave one of our cats a decoy shoe since she likes clawing shoes. That way she doesn't bother the good shoes. Might Atari like a decoy cable? <sighs> he would. That's for sure. <laughs> but I think he would still go after the cables. God, what do you think? I'm going to die so... Maybe he wouldn't. I mean, he goes after them. <laughs> Might be, might be oh but it didn't hurt you hurt you oh, like half this a is like... half a point of damage yeah you can't get touched by that oh, oh! too early too early no I, I didn't lose anything no ah there we go <laughs> pile of bones oh it's still hurting you pretty cool pretty cool very cool okay now we're going to go on to best <laughs> graphics. Yeah. Ivory Tower Collections. Water, essential for life to exist as we know it, but deadly in nearly every vintage video game. Such irony. Starting with Frogger. <laughs> yeah. Like, and and it, yeah, it, he's I, a frog. He should be able to swim. <laughs> yep. Okay, keep going. Dying of leaky, leaky ceiling would be embarrassing. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to Atari 2600 Best Graphics Original. Up to the top. So some of these we've already played, like on the last mm -hmm. show. So we're just kind of going to look at the graphics right. on this and kind of power through them. Game of the Bear. Some of them we haven't. No, no, that's not for cats. No, no, no. Come on. Come on. Come on. So we're just looking at the graphics. This is done by... Actually, we can knock this off. Oh, let's see. Knock this off, best music and sound and graphics at the same nice. time. Nice. So, beautiful title screen, mm -hmm. good music. Press the button. It says right there on the screen. What? <laughs> <laughs> and it's got s cinema, s have played this game? I don't know, you I may think have I've not. played this game? No. No, I don't remember the big white bear. Time to play. No. Or did we play another version of it? We might have played an earlier version of it. Or a different version. Oh, he's so cute. So cute. <laughs> you don't remember doing any of this? You seem to be very knowledgeable at what you're doing. In, Am in... I? Well, it's a VH. That's... <laughs> I mean, let's face it. There. <laughs> Once you played one, you kind of know. Yeah, kind of know how it works. How it works. Was it with Darcy? Well, last time we played it was with Darcy. I think it was, yeah. On last show. <gasps> so, really cute graphics. Adorable. Great, great sound. Like, he always has really great graphics in his games. Lots of fun sounds. Oh, I can, I can duck. Things that are good to know. He looks mean. Yeah, he's gonna sting you. He's got a little stinger. I remember Darcy having trouble with the previous screen. Oh, the one where you move in the platforms, yeah. Mm. And he had, he had a bit of trouble with this screen too. Oh, this is not easy. Great snake, great animations there. Hi. Why are you so much trouble today? Oh, you're so naughty today. He's pawing at the Oh, you made it past without dying. Good stuff. <laughs> sure you haven't played this Don't one? Don't be so surprised. <laughs> I've played a lot of VH Let's See games. Tenny's kind of killing with this game, though. <laughs> yeah. I like... haven't played it before. This is such a cute game. It Look is. at the bear. 
It's freaking adorable. <laughs> it is adorable. Look at that little it mouth and the nose. It's going to be horrible when he dies. Oh, in the pit of fire. Ugh. Nice launching pad, cat. <gasps> okay, that explains it. What did you die on the fire? Uh, yeah, I didn't realize it. You have a limited time. Oh, what? Yeah, you hit the button. Oh, oh, I you, see. You hit the button, and then you have a limited time. And then it goes. Ah, yes. Just time. Bears running and ducking animation is really good, Nostalgic mm -hmm. says. Tanya knows VHC's signature. Yeah. yeah. Ah, you know all his tricks. And his, look well, at the spring. It's, it's, you can tell there's something there that you need to do. Right. You know. Oh, you drop down. See him even face the other way? Like cross across the ladder again. Oh, oh isn't that so cute? Cute. cute? It's like, I am touching the ladder, therefore show this different animation. And that's his innovation in this game. Is moving things? Is moving things. Huh? He never had moving things before. Oh, I see. You probably have to move it to get back up. Yeah. And, yeah, there and, we go. and his games are a bit Metroid-y, where you have to backtrack a bit, like go get something and then yeah. not too much. Yeah, this is... Yeah. It gets a little tougher. She's flying right through it. Yes. Not sure you move a... Box and Night Guy in the 7800 and two different screens. Oh, oh, figure eight. Nice. Okay. Maybe it was the. Oh! No. That was bad. Part that's where you press a button and it moves a bit and moves again. I think that's new. Whew. Treasure chest! Treasure. Oh! Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> No. I, I wasn't sure because sometimes it stops before oh, it gets to you. Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes there's safe spots. The skull is so awesome. Oh, punching. Is it random? No, it's in order. That is awesome. I don't remember that. I think I played an earlier version. We haven't played this one. Or you just didn't get this far. Oh, maybe we did. I did. Nope. <laughs> Not yet. That's a big hint. Great ladders. Boop. Come on, so the, bear. the ladders are a duplicated player because they're detailed, right? And they're just at the <gasps> right distance. He's very, very clever the way he uses Run. things on the screen. Key. Key! There's a countdown timer. Crackling of electricity, yes. Oh, his, I love that. His electricity that. has always been really good. Yeah, I love that. The chompers. Anything further? Oh, oh that, that skull is cool. awesome. And if you notice, it mm. subtly changes oh, two I different see. purples. Remember that, but oh. hmm. Danger. that looks like death. It does. Until now, I've not <gasps> noticed ah! <laughs> the skulls flashing. Crazy, yeah. Obviously, another masterpiece by the H Z C. Love it so much. Um, next one is Kung Fu Combat. Which has extremely detailed oh. load. So you've got one job: playing and loading. <laughs> hey! Playing and loading. I have more than one job. You have two jobs: playing, <laughs> loading. Uh, Kung Fu Combat 2, 32K by Edward Smith, E. A. Smith, oh. Kevin Mosley, Kevin Mo M O S. Yeah, the play field graphics in this game are uh, astounding. So you can see why it got nominated for uh, best graphics. Look at this overview world. All done with player, I believe. Huge fighting sprites. I think we can loop around the screen. How do I... Uh, you can you turn, turn around? Oh, there's lots of controls. I think it's like down or button and down. Button. It's down. Down, just down. Okay. Uh, 
I just remember this being very... The wind is blowing in two different directions at once. Are you talking about their belts? <laughs> They're just really stiff belts. They didn't use fabric softener. They just stick right out. Uh, and I believe all the screens are mirrored. Um, so that you don't have to... So that he doesn't have to rewrite the play field on the fly. But they're really detailed mirrored screens. Looks like two pixels high each line. It's quite, quite detailed. I'm game very over. bad at In this jail. <laughs> and the game over <laughs> screen so is... Look at the game over look screen. Look at it. I know. I know. It's and a you can tell work what of it art. Is. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. The I'm sales. Oh. You can you you play it. You you. I, uh, I remember we played it. We did play an earlier version of it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you played a little. You were a little better than I was at it. Look the whale. Oh. Mm. So let's see. Up is jump and kick. I don't know if that's a kick. Forward and button is punch. Up up is kick. I think. Oh, uh, jumping. Or. Up and button is kick. Up and button. That is that really is some good use of playfield graphics. Oh, it's beautiful. One of the best, actually, I've ever beautiful. seen. Beautiful. And every level, I think, has different graphics in the background, too. Every level. Like, you just have to get to the I think second there's like level. 12, 12 different levels. Yeah. You can play it two player, right? Or no? Uh, I think there might be, yeah, two player um, level. I only got so far in this game it is mm. it gets really challenging mm -hmm. am i winning i think i am barely yeah yeah okay i am i might actually oh now i'm tied no 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 and it's game over i always found the computer seems to have an advantage in timing if you both hit each other the computer wins at the same time like yeah. i think i think that's why it's so hard is you almost have to play better than the computer you done kicked him in the neck <laughs> just kick, kick low with all the time let's mm. see how i do oh why did i turn around oh, okay oh hold the button down and press down Strategy is not working. Oh. Could tell great, but it's also interesting how players and missiles are used in combination for the two fighters. Yeah. Oh, might actually win. Might actually win. Yay! Yay! Just so I can show a different screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see another background. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh these my God. are so hard. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, I remember everything. I'm going to die, though. It's so hard. <sighs> ah! You have to turn around and then remember. Yeah. The controls are faster. not what you think they are. No, they're not They're not bad. Yeah, it, best it takes practice. It definitely takes some practice. Yeah. Ah! <gasps> And if you look at the tree, it actually used player graphics down the middle oh. to do something a little different with the with the mirrored tree. Nice. Really, really great. Wow. Okay. So that one is nominated for best graphics. So best graphics and legendary spear which we already played so we saw how good the graphics okay are, are we gonna skip over that one yep. then okay and then slide boy and maze line which we already did we did oh <laughs> didn't we yeah we did slide boy and maze line oh no we didn't sorry no, sorry, we didn't. sorry sorry i was thinking of kjo chases you the cheese think of which is very similar yeah <laughs> in in concept in yeah. concept you're sliding around um 
Slide Boy in Maze Land 32k by VHZC. Except this one, you're not collecting things, you're just getting the hell out of there. <laughs> you do press things to open things. Uh, so this is nominated for best graphics. Just look at the transition. This, just, just this screen that shows what level you're on is astounding. Never mind the game itself. Speaking of speedrunning, the uh, Ivory Tower mm -hmm. Collections. So we did play this last time. Uh, we last played show. with Darcy, I think. Yeah. Play for a little bit. Yeah, you can play it till you die. Um, so that means it was also nominated for Best Original Homebrew as well. And same with the Game of the Bear was as well. As soon as you die, move on. One death? Yep, you get one oh, death. Oh, I'll die here. I'm terrible at this. <laughs> I hate this level. Okay, you can try that one again. I, know you're <laughs> I hate yes. that level. And Darcy <clears throat> commented on the colors as well for this. Yeah. It's really contrasty colors nice. that stand out from each other. Because in some games, you notice that they'll use like dark colors on dark backgrounds, and it's like, I can't see the character, but this one is very, very... Uh, good with its use of colors will slide boy getting an atari age release in 2022 i don't think i've heard about this one getting a release yet no let me check my database here um uh, slide boy Nope, nope, not, no, uh, no indication yet from VHZC or Al. Are you playing there in a physical Atari? We are, every game. RGB modded uh, Atari 2600 Lite Sixer. Yeah, you'll be able to see it in the small kitten cam. Kitten cam. <laughs> oh, kitten's not in the kitten cam. It's waiting to the side. Oh, there arena foot said it. This one, I always, always go through that portal and don't look at the other side. So I usually lose a life on that. Yeah, level. it's like me with those two. I don't know what it is, but I always get the timing off. Okay, we gotta move on. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> I guess I did die once. Yeah. Oh, but it's so much fun. It is. And if you look, notice in VHZC's games, he uses similar enemies throughout his uh, different games. He's like, it's not a game until I've got some skulls in it. And I've got a variation of Pong in it mm -hmm. as well. Okay, the next one is Solo Mahjong. 32k by Domish Tan Games. Now, this is Mahjong, but yeah. look at the graphics. Really nice. Like, oh my god, like, so nice looking. Windows 3.0, 3. <laughs> 3. yeah. 3.1. Level of graphics. Mahjong. Yeah. I now, how to play Mahjong. Mahjong? That's another story. It's just matching, isn't it? I can't remember now. Not doing anything? I don't know. Mm. Not a Mahjong player. Pressing the joystick button on joystick 2, and it starts the game over. We did not play this game on the show because and I'm not a Mahjong player. I don't know how to play. Paddle or keyboard control? Oh, probably. Paddle? Maybe paddle. You gonna pull out a paddle? Yeah. That's not a paddle. That's not a paddle. <laughs> Gotta be one in there somewhere. I have so many driving controllers sitting around. Mm. Not controller compliant. <laughs> yep. Oh, something changed. Mine link required. Yeah, it's the mine link. Nope. I mean, it did change. Did it you did. do that? Did I? Well, no, I can't. No. Mm. That's weird. Hmm. 
<laughs> Keyboard controller per the AA post. Oh, oh thank thanks, you. Carl G. Oh, you just keep trying them until one of them works. There's a slew of controllers all over the floor. Okay, we're just gonna make a mess of this game because we don't have an overlay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so up, down. Well, you can see the graphics. Uh... Enter. And also, we have no idea how to play mahjong. Yeah, both of those things. Oh, not I helpful. I knew it was gonna go out. Dim. Oh! <laughs> See, I have no idea what that means. It's like changing screens. We're just looking at the graphics. Yeah. So, <laughs> amazingly detailed mm. graphics on the Mahjong tiles. Nostalgic says this may be the first time I've seen you break out a keyboard controller. I believe nope. it was the mole game. The mole, the game. mole game, which was so Super. much fun and required Super two fun. keyboard controllers. Yes. Yeah. So we did play that. <laughs> okay, you get to see a variety of uh, Mahjong tiles. Flashbacks to trying to play Activision's Bridge when I was like seven. Yeah, <laughs> Bridge is another one of those games. It's like, oh. Like that. Like that. They're all in nice they color. They look beautiful. Super detailed. Yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah, specific buyer for this game. Yes. Very, very specific. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Oh, I have a game idea for a keyboard controller. Mike Soul oh. says, yeah, we need more keyboard controller games. Because, mm. I mean, there's so many buttons on them, right? They're not great for high action, but like for RPGs or things you have to press that correspond with the buttons on the screen. Super fun. Okay. We shall move on. Plug the joystick back in because 99% of games are joystick controllers. So let's go to best graphics port. Is that a stapler sitting on top of those coasters? Yep. Can you move that? Thank you. Okay. Get moving. Hey. Right. Get you moving. Put something on top of those coasters. They're gonna get all dented. Oh, that's no good. That is no good. Uh, where are we? Oh. Are we at ports? Best graphics ports. Okay. Awakening. Awakening. 8K port by Rodney Sedal. Hey. And we did play this Ooh. the other day, so you don't have to play it too much. It's a very good, nice title screen. It's a port of uh, Link's Awakening. And it's got some dancing skeletons and a very nice uh, Link. Is it up and down only? Yeah, it is. So his sword is not What's super that? great. What was that? That was a little thing you need to pick up ah. and gather and get points for them. Oh, I see. This is also nominated for Best Music and Sound Port. What? Oh, I can't stab things while I'm... Oh, I can. What? What? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> the end. I think you have to specify direction. Like, you up to, and button, down and button. You have to be moving. Yeah. So you can actually hold down the button. And oh. have, like, a laser sword. Hold down the button. Oh, I can't. And move around. Hi, you're back. Come here. Any hit. And it is. But we did play this the other day. Fair enough. Oh, good music. Yeah, very good music. So that's for music and also graphics. So Dodge It 4K Port by Zan, which uh, we, we just did played? play, so we don't Over. need to It's treat time. Ladybug. Yum, yum, yum. yum. Oh, oh, what time is it, kittens? It's treat time. And we played this last time. Oh, oh my goodness, here. that was fast. I don't want to get my what? hands stinky. Oh. Oh Go my full goodness. Full screen for a second. Kittens. Ding. Calm ding. down. Calm down, cat. He's like, I demand <laughs> treats. Thank you, Charles Whelan. Thank you very much. Atari says thank you. Atari says thank you. So. You can obviously why, see why this was nominated for Best Graphics. It's got this um, 
view. And also, you can change it so it doesn't have any flicker. There you go. As well, uh, which is there. So if you don't like the flicker, or if it doesn't translate well for you, I'm just I'm just moving around, not actually playing properly. Yeah. And I believe this is also nominated for best sound as well on a 2600 game. I'll just complete this level. Yeah. Kittens, you're very... I'm gonna throw that <laughs> far away so you have to run a little. Run a little bit? Yeah. Oh, where's the last one? Oh, there they are. You can ring it again. We've got a few more. Go ahead. Ring the bell. I think the keyboard is way easier to read than paddles. Yes, because you don't have to scan throughout the game for keyboard. It's just like a joystick. You just read it once in a while, not constantly. Mm -hmm. Back to the kitten cam. Oh, I'm... I'm... Are you all done? No. no, I'm throwing it far away so he, he gets a little exercise. <laughs> Oh my goodness, you're so good at that. Uh oh. So, for that one, Ladybug Arcade by Champ Games, uh, John Champo, uh, Code and Design. Nathan Strum for Art and Graphics, so he gets the nod for the graphics. Uh, Bob DeCrescenzo for Music and Sound Effects, he gets the nod for Music and Sound Effects. Nathan Strum for Packaging, Illustration, and Design. He did that with his left paw. Yeah, he's ambidextrous. Uh, one more, kittens. One more. One more. One more is One Robot more. War 2684. And I'll put it back Smack up on, it hard. Smack on the it screen hard. after Atari gets it. Smack it hard, cat. Get it. He touched it, but it didn't ding. There, there we go. go. Good kitty. Oh. Ivory Tower Collections. Tanya, last Friday we were talking about how ZPH has Atari trained to ring the bell to get treats, but I brought up that from Atari's perspective, he has trained the humans to give him a treat whenever he rings the bell. Pretty yes. much. From there is his perspective, no yeah. control on our end. It is all Atari. So you play it because oh, we love it. Because we played it last time. It's a, a single joystick. Yeah. Player. So this is nominated for um, best graphics and uh, best music and sound for a port. And also nominated for best homebrew port as well. So this is made by Champ Game, John Champo, and Nathan Strom did the graphics. So that means John Champo did the music and sound. Oh my god, this is so hard without the double joysticks! Unless ah! somebody else, unless he's, the person is uncredited <laughs> and I just don't have the information. Yeah, much better with two joysticks. I can shoot for you. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, no. I'm getting shoot. used to it now. No! Okay. <laughs> if I remember correctly, you need to write for a line of buttons, then read for a column, and iterate the rows on oh, different gosh. vertical blanks. Lamatron. You have to hold the button and move the joystick to get it to change direction. No, I think you have to move and then oh, press the button. So hold the button. What? You have to move and then press the button? Then hold the button to get it in a direction. No, but you can stand in one place and move the joystick. That too. Yeah. It's two different That's ways That's what of I mean. It. Oh, it's frustrating. The double joystick is much so better. If you move to the right yeah. and then hold it, it'll stay to the right. Yeah. Like up and then press and yeah. hold up, it'll go that way. Or you can hold the button. And, and, not, then, and, and then, then not move, yeah. And then not move. So it's it definitely not as nice as the double joystick. Yes. It depends what you press first. Mm. Movement or button. Mm -hmm. Button first, you stand still. Movement, you don't. Yeah. Damn it. That's what happens. <laughs> 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 Someday someone will pull off a seven-digit score display in a 2600 game, and it will change everything. <laughs> I swear somebody's done that. I, I, I feel like someone has, but yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. I swear it's been done before. There Any is one, Vitogo says. Uh -huh. Any experts out there? 
you know which, which one it is? Says there is. Ah. Oh, ah, the donut that spits out robots. B blocks. There you ah. go. Get that donut. It's the one that's creating more, more of the robots. Did you see that cafe on up the street from us? Has uh, Homer Simpson donuts, pink icing pink? with sprinkles on top. Oh, really? On Thursday, might have to get some donuts on Thursday. Oh. Yeah. Oh, they look good. Yeah, we haven't been there yet, but oh. Oh. Okay. That's why I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to place up this. Well, no, we haven't been to it yet, but I've, I am have been following them on Instagram. Oh, damn it. So uh Much easier with two joysticks. It is. Alright. He's playing with this teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Um uh, okay, and Soul of the Beast. Uh best graphics port, we've already done that. And Square Raid, which we played last time, but okay. you did not. So, best graphics port. Square Raid? Yep. Okay. Do I know this game? You do. By Ben Larson, 8K. Oh. Oh, I know this game. So, this is nominated for best uh, graphics and best music and sound. Um, and best homebrew as well. What am I doing again? If he could have squeezed, squeezed it down to 4K, he would have gone for best 4K game as well. <laughs> Probably. Oh, you shoot the green things at the bottom. Yeah, that's... Avoid their bullets. Ah, 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 floaty, so floaty. And I think we went over it last time why this is definitely... A beautiful... A beautiful, great game for for its graphics. Because of the number of bullets, the beautiful blue changing lines on the screen. B-Blocks uses the missiles for the seventh digit, but it's always a zero. Uh -huh. Can never change to a one. And the beautiful title screen. Yeah. I love the background, too. The blue and silver. It's... Somebody uh, said... Describe the game as elegant. It's very... Um, very zen-like, too. It is zen-like and... Not easy, either. No. This is the closest you're likely to get to a bullet hell in the 2600. Mm -hmm. Very true. And they're able to do it because the enemies are in a completely different area than you. Actually, I don't know why you wouldn't be able to do that. Um, normally, because you just fill the screen with the same way they're doing it here. Just tiny, tiny little bullets. Reminds me of early vector display arcade yes. machines. Yes! Yes! So if they just made those... Well, they had to draw them with play field on the bottom. It's so pretty. But I think they... it's the thin lines. You're not yep. you don't expect the thin lines from an Atari game, you know? Nope. Like you the You expect chunky 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 chunky, chunky lines. lines. And even the score at the top is like super small and yeah, clean. Very It's not big and big almost. and chunky. It's like 3 pixels high. Or 4 pixels high cuz it just changed from the score to 4 and it's like a Yeah, 4 pixels high. Reminds me of the Tron look, too. Yes. Uh, you can see my Tron poster right out in the hallway there. Yeah. And it's got all those blues. Yeah, you should show the Tron poster. It's a cool poster. I could. He's gonna bring it. He's going to bring the Tron, Tron poster now. I showed it, like, years ago. Years ago, but... Oh, it's so cool. Yeah. This is what this game reminds us of. There's the Tron. Japanese Tron poster. Yeah, so it's an original Japanese Tron poster that I picked up in New York. Yeah. Um, gorgeous. Yeah. So you can see the blue colors and how. Yeah. How it's. Uh, it's it's just because. Very the, similar. Yeah, you can scroll it up, and then I assume that's. The blue at the bottom. Japanese Tron, but yeah. you can see you can see the grids the grid at the bottom and Tronu. everything too. Tronu. 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 I'm guessing. <laughs> can't have just this constant. No. Have to have a vowel after. <laughs> That's true. I do like this game. Oh yeah, I, I love Japanese so... posters, so I have a collection of them. He does, yeah. We have what do you have? Uh, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction Japanese. Um. Mad Max. Mad Max. The Japanese. original. The yep. original, original or two. Pretty sure it's original. 
yeah. then Tron. And Blade Runner. And Blade Runner. Blade Runner Japanese poster. Yeah. Yeah. All originals. They're all really beautiful because they're different from the North American oh, posters. The North American ones are boring. Quite different. Quite a different style. Yeah. Japanese always gets the best poster art. Game yes. box art, art in general. Yeah. Yeah. Looks like Beam Rider flipped vertically. True. Yes. Okay, you played enough of this. Uh, I know it's fun. You just play it for it. Okay, now we're going to go to best music and sound original. Yep. And go through any ones that we have not seen today on the show. Electro Ball? Electro Ball, which we did last show, but we'll. Quickly Play it do again. It again. Ooh, pretty. So this is best music and sound. Don't press any buttons yet. And also best homebrew original. Mm. And this is a two-player game, so we'll play one quick game of it. Let's press fire. Go human human. And go to the hardest one. Down. Uh, winter. Okay, Tanya is red, I am blue. Ugh. No! <laughs> it says no goalies, but it has a very hard goal. And right into my own net. Well, there that we was go. very close. Oh, so bouncy. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'd almost scored. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> yeah, the title screen music is great. We'll have to go back to that because we didn't leave it on there long enough. Actually, it's a short loop, so I think we did hear it. <gasps> it's it's floaty enough that it's hard. <laughs> the momentum really <sighs> changes this game. It does. It's so awesome. Oh, just about to score. Oh. Or try to score. Ah! Oh, what? It bounced off the wall inside the goal. Well, gotta be better than that. Gotta hit the back of the goal. Oh, no. <sighs> oh, no. No. Oh, that was so close. No. Oh. No! I kind of like this one because you don't have to worry about <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's fun. I'm not very good at hitting the angles there. Come on! This one's hard to score a goal. Oh, bad bounces. Oh, I just want to hit, hit it on an angle! Yeah! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> this mode's too busy. It's, it's a bit crazy. There's invis there's guards against you going in to get the ball. The ah. uh. No. Oh, no. Finally. Come on. It's very bouncy. Ah, no. No! No! Oh, that's so close! Oh, no. yes! Reminds uh, me of the opening to Dancing on My Own by Robin. Hmm. Dancing on My Own. I know the song. I don't know the... Uh, Sounds like an 80s title. 90s. Oh, yeah. Pop band title. Oh! Ah! Ah! No! Oh, come on! Yeah. I love the different variations in this game. Yes, especially with the goalies too. It gives you a, a lot more to do. Oh, so close. Go, go, go. Oh! <gasps> so close. No. Oh, it's so bouncy. I, I, I think that really makes the gameplay of this game. Oh. Yeah. I think you've sealed it with that. I don't know. Go on. We're in How the much last, time? Last uh, minute. Last minute. I don't know. Could be a tight game. No! Ooh. <clears throat> Can I make it come back? <laughs> Go to a tie. Oh, come on! Yes. Did we even that touch was, that? No, we didn't! That was garbage! <laughs> oh. One more goal! No! Yeah! 
<laughs> Down to last seconds. No! No! Yes! <laughs> last seconds. No, uh, no, no! Stay away! No! 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 Oh, that was so close! No! <laughs> oh! Is it oh. done? Is it done? No, the time is. It's overtime. Yeah! Damn it. Woo! <laughs> There's the music. She'll go to the back to the title screen. That's pretty nice too. Yeah. So. <laughs> Fatoko says, I love two player games. So do yes. we. Yes. And that's where I, we're going to play off of a four player day. Because mm. four player is twice as good as two players. I agree with that. It's going to be lots of fun. Good thing it doesn't make you win by two goals. Oh, yeah. that would go on for a while. Mm -hmm. Also, like I was as back in the day, look and feel while still being original. <laughs> yep. There you go. Don't touch that cable. Back up. Okay. Will you have an eight player day? Ooh. Not Do many... we have eight friends? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Six friends. <laughs> that would have to be on video game night. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to play the only eight player game I know. Which is Vroom. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, possibly. Yeah, yeah, we could stream for like just like 10 minutes. Yeah. And play Vroom with eight players. Yeah. Uh, that would be in the fall. Eight player day? Where we would have the video game night. Oh, and yes. we will have it because yeah. this year. We should be is allowed to. <laughs> the 45th anniversary of, of Atari 2600. Nice. Um, okay. Excellent. Best music and sound. Real sports Original curling. Original Ethereum. Real sports curling. Well, I'll have my 5200 done by then. So there you go. Uh, what? Um, sorry. Ethereum. Did I down go to the, to the wrong one? No, no, no. It's at oh. the bottom. Because it's not. The other ones we've done. Slide Boys. Zark Stars. Order. So keep going. Okay. Nice. So this is up for best music and sound, and also we played it before, so it must be on another. Didn't we? Anyway, maybe not. Played very simple games. Oh no, we didn't play it before. Oh my goodness! I've shoot it more than once. Yeah, good to know. Oh my God! How many times do you have to shoot it? Once. Uh, no, this demo is not publicly available, so you'll have to use the video here. That's why we also shoot it a lot, a lot, do, a lot, how, a lot, a lot, a lot. How do you lot. shoot without moving towards it? Hold down the button. Oh, okay. Let's try this again. No, this one is that not. That would explain a hell of a lot. This game is only available as an NFT. <laughs> I don't think anybody bought it. I'm not sure. Didn't follow up. Nope. Oh, oops. Okay. Don't run into its detritus. <laughs> this is very much like uh, the 7800 game. Yep. What is that called? I, I know what game you mean. Yeah. Oh, God. Too close. Except that one you kill the enemy with one shot. Yeah, which is easy. <laughs> this one you have to use a little bit more... Patience. Oh, yeah, you have to be very careful you don't run into their detritus. Nice animations, horrible game. It's not not a bad game, it's just no, hard. No, it is hard. Oh. Yeah, There's very good animations. a lot in the timing. Oh, time salvo. Yes, that's the one. Carl G. Oh, Ooh. oh. That was not good. Error. So this is by uh, Mark, Mark, Mike Sarna, who's Revenge. It's a 16K game. Time Salvo. Yes. Well, it has that... Oh, yeah, the coins. I forgot about that. Really? Oh, did you get an extra life? If you get all the coins? I can't remember. I can't remember. It's not paying attention. So 
So this uh, was touted as the first ever full game being sold as an NFT. Um, I don't think it did sell. So first game up for sale as an NFT then? Because um, it's very expensive to make an, an NFT? make an NFT. So there's a built-in cost, minimum cost that you have to uh, build in. NFT info. Okay, Rarina Foots posted some uh, links for info about the, the NFT. $580. Yeah, it's, it's costly. So I don't know if he plans on releasing this. Oh, oh one disappeared already. Oh, he did get an extra life. Yeah. Sold by Ajax A to now... now Homemade five months ago, so it did sell. Good. Oh wow. Okay, so it is the first game ever sold as an NFT. And as opposed to other NFTs, you actually get something. You get the game, and you own the game, not the copyright, but you own the game. <laughs> so there's really only one legitimate um, owner of the game. Oh, hmm, interesting. It must have shot through the other guy. Oh, it oh. got me. Okay, we gotta move on. Okay. So, yeah, best music and sound. Got some nice blah, 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 sounds to it. Um, also, Game of the Bear, which we already played. Uh, Mr. Yo-Yo, we played the other day, but we can play it again. It's very, I find it challenging. I like Mr. Yo-Yo. Yeah, it's... Is that the last one on this? No, you can't be on there. I know you were on there the other day. Get, get off, get off, get off, get off. What is going on with your cat today? Um, so this is by... Oh, you have to go down to start. So nice sound. Nice sounds in the game. Oof, that was close. Uh, this is by, done by Dave Marley, who's Dave M. and BJ Myers Additional Music. So they are both kind of up for the award. Charles Gleeland goes, <laughs> Hey, Aeroform official. Welcome. Hi, right, Katie. You want to come up here and come snuggle? There we go. Good. That's a better spot for a cat than getting in trouble constantly. <laughs> oh, gosh. So, really, it is, it is hard, but it's, it's a fun. challenging, fun game. And, oh, there was a pee. And like we said last time, it's very unique concept. I can't think of another game where it's like this. <laughs> where you have to shoot things to the side, you press a button to go down and release it to go back up like a yo-yo. You can't stay in one spot. You're either up or down or moving up or moving down. Charles Wynn says, I have a tough time getting the timing down. It's it's a challenging game. There's lots of room for improvement uh, if you've ever played this game. Cute and original. Yes. This one looks fun. Yeah, if you haven't played it, definitely give it a download and check it out. Oh, this will be... Uh... Oh, oh sad face. No, trying to hit things is always hard. You've got lots of lives left. Oh, well, two left now. There are a few games that does, don't have a ROM to download this year, and that might be a restriction for Harmony Games. Yeah, I read your post about that. Oh, gosh. And we'll see who wins, right? Room for room for the game? No, for the player. The game is... Games... I can't say any problems with the games now. Uh, over it's the... hard to try and kill. ...period of time where he's improved the game. It's perfectly good. It's just really hard really hard. The first couple levels are not too bad, but then you get up into the blue bouncy level, where the guys bounce back and forth on your string. That gets challenging. Mm -hmm. I may have gotten past that in a previous game. Okay. It's when they start cutting the strings. Yeah, then you're... Oh my god, you're done. Okay. Um, then go to Zark Stars. Okay. Can you hit the... Oh, I could, but there's a cat on my leg. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I knew Anyone I... moves? Anyone moves that cat is flighty, 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 yeah. flighty, flighty. Okay. So Zark Stars, a space saga by Leonardo Camera, HSW3ET. El Camera or? Uh, not the text file. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess. Uh, programming design and soundtrack. So he did the soundtrack. 
Um, this is all so up for. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to shoot the top thing or you're going to die. Oh, the top thing! Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but for best graphics. That was it. Original. That's it? That's it. Yeah, and not couch complaints. Uh. <laughs> no, shoot the, the green dot at the top. What green dot? Or the bottom, I guess. There you go. Oh, gosh, this is so hard. I remember <laughs> this. Oh, my God, it's so hard. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's funny, this game, is it's game over if you don't shoot that green dot at the beginning of the level. Like, all your ships are done. It's very punishing. Oh, you're, yeah, you, are, you remember now. Oh, so it's up for best homebrew. Um, best graphics and best music and sound for original game. Oh. It's got some good uh, good tunes. And very good graphics in the like <laughs> if you don't know, everything on the screen, none of it is drawn by Playfield. None of it. Uh the bottom of the screen, I guess it is. Maybe it isn't. Brutal. You can't even shoot when you first start <laughs> moving too. Yes. It, it, it's just like <laughs> Oh, remember the select oh switch continues. God. That's true. Well, she didn't make it out of the first level. But we're not going to play it as long as we did the other day. And I just keep hitting the walls. I was doing so much better when I first started the last round. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, you this, can move it forward and back. This I love. Oh, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful With the drop game. shadow? Yeah. The white and blue? Yeah, I was, in, I was, I was doing much better. <laughs> You gotta stay away from the edges and just watch the angles. Go up and down. There's like there's almost a pattern to it when you there get into is. it. It's not so bad, but oh, that is the part that doesn't work on my 7800. The title screen is what causes it to go south. Oh really? Oh, that's crazy. I wonder what specifically does it. There's a little bit of jumpiness here and there. Oh, oh my god. I have to start the game with the fire button already held down when I started <laughs> in order to get it to load up. Oh, does it crash the 7800? Yeah, the 7800, yeah. Oh my god. This is a game that uh, is super, super challenging. It's super hard. So if you yeah. want a challenge and you're up for it. It's cool, though. Yeah. It's, very it's got cool. a lot of coolness to it. Yeah. Um, okay, so we're down to the last few... This is best music and sound port. So we have done Awakening. Dodge it. We've done Dodge it. We've done Ladybug. We've done all of these. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we've covered all of them. All right. Wow, 803. Right on the dot. <laughs> I thought it would take longer, but we powered through it. Yeah, you were, you were, you were like, no, keep going. Keep it's going. like, no, but I want to play. Any of these you want to play again? Any of them? Yeah, you can have one more one round more that you didn't that you didn't play. Gosh, it's not those. Actually, most of them are in there anyway. I know. We can have an another round of Electro Ball. No. No. <laughs> When you win, you don't play. <laughs> oh, you retire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm retired. Game, game of the Bear. I was thinking Game of the Bear, but I did get a lot of time to play it. So you did. I don't know what you. Well, Ladybug? I played more than you did. So are there any? Oh, I didn't play Ladybug. Let's play Ladybug. Okay. I like Ladybug. It's a good game. It is. Uh, we play two player. Can we? Uh, probably not, actually. No, 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 not in the demo. Oh, chip. you can pick your maze. Arcade, maze too. Good luck! Ladybug's so cute. Yeah. Little spinning helicopter antennae. So remember, you want the hearts when they're blue. And special when it's red, so S. Yep. And the R when it's yellow. Yep. And that E can be red or yep. yellow. Yep, I, I remember how this works. Good. Sometimes I have to look at, at the top of the screen. Thank you. 
Oh, and you want to get all the hearts as soon as possible because it's they, a multiplier they give you for everything. Yeah. There you go. Dangerous. Oh, that's not what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so, Ladybug uh, by Champ Games was originally put out put out in the 2000s, but this is an upgraded version where he was able to increase the size of the maze um, and just add just a ton more to the game mm -hmm. that he wasn't able to before because of uh, limitations. Ah! Ah, ah! Run! Run! <laughs> now they're all loose. Oh, but you get the... Vegetable. Cucumber. Go away. Get away from the cucumber. Ah! <laughs> ah! ah! Get it now. Get it now. Get it. Nice. <laughs> like a couple seconds. Any Vegas odds on this title winning? <laughs> well. That's up to you guys to do, I guess. Another heart. Quick, 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 quick. Nice. I don't think you make it for that one, but. Nice. Perfect. Oh, the bonus. That's already. We already oh, got that one. So it does, no, it's already. You already got it. Wait till that one's red. I would suggest clearing out the area around the bad guys. Oh, I know. Well, well there aren't too many well, of them. Aren't. Yeah, because that's... They are kind of awful. Because you don't, they don't know when they're going to... Well, you do know when they're going to come out, but... It's better to just get it done. Yay, bonus! <gasps> oh, oh, I didn't mean to hit it! it. Oh. Little heart. Little, little wings. I'm sure there's people already making predictions on which ones are going to win. Of course, people probably vote for the one they think are going to win, right? Yeah, exactly. Or do people... Well, no, you don't necessarily have to. You could vote for one you would that you like the most, but then you could also think, well, the other one's probably going to win, but I like this one the most. And then it gets faster and faster, the color changes. So it makes it much harder. Get it, get that X, get that X, get that. Nice. Get that heart. Well, that doesn't matter when you get the D. Doesn't matter. One more heart. Clear it out. Nice. Two away from extra, four away from special. Yeah, there's always a lot to get. Yeah. Because you only get so many per level. I know. It Takes a while. Run, run from the green chickens. Do they flip? Which are the ones that flip? Oh, are there ones that flip? Yeah, That's not till later. It is. I think. I can't remember. I don't make it to that level very long, very much. Oh! oh! Turned around. Those are grasshoppers. Oh, he's nope. scared of the post on the ground. Oh, praying man. No. No. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go down. There we go. How are you guys going to play the Lynx games? Uh, emulator. Oh, because I don't have a Lynx. If I had Lynx with the VGA output, I would play them through VGA. But I don't have them. Maybe in the future. Oh. Wait for it. Come on. There we go. Uh, wait, wait. Right there. It's gonna turn. Yeah, extra. What do, 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 do I get? Extra ladybug. Do, 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 do. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. It goes all the way down to where your oh, you extra skip guys. Oh, you skipped to the next level too. Ah. Parsley! Ooh, that sounds that sounds hard. Provided you can get a McWill. Ah. 
Maybe you guys could get an analog pocket. It is on order. So, but mine's not delivery till end of 2022. So end of this year. But also the Lynx adapter's not out. But there are Lynx cores. So, oh, no, no. oh yellow for that one. They are. Are there, is there a Lynx core out for the analog pocket yet? You could do it that way, but not in time, obviously, for, in two weeks. Um, supports Lynx games has HDMI out, yeah. Um, but the Lynx adapter is not available yet. What's higher in your priority list, Lynx or Jaguar? Jaguar, 100%. Um, but I might have a Jaguar on the way. Maybe. That's exciting. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. It's not here yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run, run, run. I canceled my analog sometime in 2023 was too far off. I can understand that. Uh, I guess luck of the draw, I was able to get in late 2022. But that might be like late, late 20. Maybe go up and then lure. they may follow you and then you go back down again. Because they're hanging right around you. The skies are awful. There you go. Now they're clearing out. That, get that. There, perfect. Get some extra time. I, Woot. So, Jaguar is higher on my list because I've already got the controllers. Mm -hmm. I've already got the RGB um, adapter for high quality output. Um, that's all I've <laughs> Oh, and I've got some thumbsticks to replace the controllers. might have a Jaguar on the way, so therefore I guess Lynx takes over the priority since I have a Jaguar on the way, possibly, possibly. Can't guarantee anything until you have it in your hands. Did you get another world's pre-order for the Jag? No, I'm not terribly interested in that style of game. You know another world? Do you know that one? That game? Uh, no. It's kind of rotoscoped. Shadow rotoscoped. It's very, very cool looking, but it just just doesn't do it for me. I am more about... I mean, it is a platformer, but it's just... Oh. No, I like shooters. I like platformers. Oh, am I dead? I like games like this, too. Kind of puzzly games. Um, there's a number of homebrews I'm interested in. I have it. It's really cool to see that game running on the Jag. Yeah, I bet it would be. I cannot vote in an objective way in the 8-bit category. If I do, my game won't get any vote. <laughs> you can't abstain from voting in a category. Oh, you just need that red L. Come on. Yes. <gasps> what do I get? What do I get? You win a special bounty. Ooh. Eat veggies until the timer ends. Just eat, 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 eat. Eat. Eat as many veggies. Get them all. Get all the close ones as close as soon as you can. Oh, wasting no. time! Wasting time! Get the veggies! Well, I bet some are worth more than others. Are they? Yeah. You probably have to memorize them. No, you got quite a few. Ooh. Ah, ooh. Ah. But you need to get a rotary controller for the Jag to really play it. Reboot Troids. Oh. Yeah, I've seen uh, some rotary controllers, and you can mod a controller to be to have a rotary one. And I mean, Tempest supports the rotary controller, right? Natively. So that would be a huge reason. Ooh, get that eye in special. Oh, no. No, not now. In red. That'll turn blue before that. There you go. Get stuck there, though. Oh, run. Run. Oh, they're faster than you. Lucky you change directions. This is a hard level. They're super fast. Yeah. I have oh. very, very low expectations. Oh, oh, very low expectations. Is that ginger? Ginger root? Yes, Tempest does, but you need, need to put a code to make it. Oh, cool. Oh, was it? Yeah, I bet it was ginger root. Look like it. Have the right color. Oh, oh my god, right away. No. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> Tempest does, but you need to have a standard controller and a second port to play the bonus rounds. Oh, really? 
so I get annoyed when I'm in the bonus rounds and have to remember to grab the other controller to play through them. Yeah, that would suck. What, what are the bonus rounds that you need to use the controller for? I haven't played Tempest enough to know. Ah, block it off. Ah, run, run! Oh, you can do it. All the way around. Oh, 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 get the root, get the root, get the root! Yeah! Whew. Cucumber, good luck. Back at cucumber level. Oh. Did I wrap around? You wrapped around. Oh, okay. Well, but are they okay. fast still? No, or it they looks... Go to slow the, the, again? It's slow. Yeah. It feels slow. Oh, yes. Did so, I? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, rotary only moves left and right, technically. Oh, oh, I see. I out for the night. Good mm -hmm. job on getting through all those games so quickly. Thank you, Kermit. Oh. Big bonus. So, you looped around. You're done. That was hard. That was a hard. That was very good. Very challenging. I don't know if I've ever that was a good that run, level. actually. <laughs> very good don't run. Don't usually have that good a run. What uh, hardness did you pick? Uh, novice. Novice. Oh, Not okay. easy, but oh. I think. I don't know. Maybe easy. Oh. How many get ladybugs do you have? Not that many. Oh. <laughs> we'll one. play to the end then. We'll play. To Are the you end. sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you've only got one left. I like Ladybug. It's a fun game. So I was sick yesterday. Oh, yeah. Not sick, but... No, just my, not feeling great. Not feeling well. Got my booster shot. Yep. So I am uh, as many as I can get right now. <laughs> uh, you got yours a couple weeks ago? I did. We are all boostered up. Boostered up. We have Until vacation plans. Ugh, in the terrible future. timing. Uh, yep. So we're all set for that. Hooray vacations. Hooray vacations. What's the next nominee episode? Oh, good question. I believe we are finishing up the 2600, but we'll be doing work in progress homebrews. Work in progress. Excellent. And since those don't cross over on anything, they'll all be games we haven't played before. Terry's interested in the beer. So we finish up the uh, work in progress. 2600 and then the two episodes after that will be 7800 games and then the last one it's going to be on a special day on a sunday because mm -hmm. we have to do before the voting finishes um it's going to be 8 bit 5200 and atari links and packaging mm -hmm. as well so that'll be quite a variety on that day it'll be on a sunday at noon if that's cool okay sunday at noon yeah and then uh, six days later is the awards. Yay, awards! On the Saturday following that. It's the chicken! No. <laughs> it's a chick green chicken. Mom. You playing with the paddles? Tari wants to play a paddle game. Does he? Yeah. Let's switch over to that. He wants to play a paddle game. See? He's like, can we play more paddle games? They're really cool looking. Is he? Are you focusing in on the Atari? Yeah. <laughs> Carrot level. What are you doing, silly cat? Are you trying to get my attention? Um. Yeah, so next episode, there'll be six best in. Oh, no. Eight original best work in progress homebrew because of how things worked out. Um, and six best work in progress homebrew ports. And there are a lot of great games in that list. It'll be a lot of fun. Atari's vat practicing for Vroom. For Vroom, you have to use the buttons. The buttons only. So make sure you press the button. He does press the joystick, the red uh, knob on the joystick. So he mm -hmm. might be able to play Vroom with us if we need an eighth player. <laughs> Harry's fur also always looks so glossy. It is. Everybody saw the promo photo I used of Atari? Oh, he was so cute. For the Atari Homebrew Awards. Yeah, James was trying to take photos, and Atari's like, uh, no. I want to be in the. I want to be and in I'm the like, photo, I'm like, fine. Please. You have to be part of the advertising, though. Part of the promotion. And he's like, fine. I'll be part of the promotion. Nostalgia says, that was a gorgeous photo of Atari. I, I know. Agree. It I was know. actually the best photo of Atari I think we we've have. ever taken of him. Yeah. I agree. The lighting was beautiful. His eyes are looking right in the camera. There's 
the, le the, the color in his eyes are just amazing. I'm genuinely surprised people aren't writing more 2600 paddle games. They're very hard to do. Because you have to constantly read the paddle. Oh, that's right. <laughs> constantly read the paddle they don't move the while you're drawing the screen. So you can't do as much on the screen. You can't be up there. Come on. You can't be up there. So there's... It really limits you... Oh, radish. Get that radish. Get it. It doesn't disappear like Dig Dug, though, I don't think. Oh. Or, um... Oh, one of them died and went back. <laughs> oh, it's game over. It's okay. But I love paddle games. So if they make more paddle games with a button, you won't have to read it yeah. as much. Yeah. Because the button emulates left and right on the joystick. Oh, oh I got a high score. I uh, will be heart, heart, heart. Here we go. Oh. Keep passing through it. Or. Oh. There we Two go. hearts. Very Good. cute. Yay! Champ games, champ games. Well, I thought that was a good run, actually. Very good run. I mean, <laughs> don't usually make it that it far. It did loop around, but you made it very far. Well, I made it to that novice. last level was pretty, pretty tight. On novice, it's a yeah. fun game. Yeah. I like, I like. It's it. a great game, and this it's is just a so classic. Great version yeah. of it. I like the name entry screen. Yes. Given James' love for shooters, we need a paddle-based shooter for him. Mm. Oh wow, that would be cool. Mm -hmm. There aren't any paddle-based shooters that I can think of. Do you guys know any paddle-based shooters where you can zip across the screen really fast? Because all shooters are joystick where you move at a certain pace. Yeah. But a paddle-based one, you can go zip, zip, shoot, shoot, shoot. That would be super awesome. Well, yeah, awesome. I mean, what is it? Breakout is kind of like paddle-based shooter. But, um... mm. but you get one shot and it bounces around. Yeah. <laughs> so it's That's not true. a shooter per se. But Sometimes like you can shoot. In, in like a, Arkanoid yeah. is Arkanoid, yes, that's what I'm There's a laser level of Arkanoid, like yeah. a laser power up. That's as close to a shoot paddle shooter as you can guess, get. Yeah. Yeah. Fifty two hundred Galaxian supports a trackball. Mm, yeah. That would be pretty awesome. Trackball, paddle, similar mm -hmm. things because you move fast or slow. Yeah. Vitoko says I'm working on a paddle shooter for twenty six hundred. I released one for Astro the eight bit. Astro Blast. Yeah. Is there a paddle-based Astro Blast? Mm. Or that's just joystick, right? Maybe, I mean, on maybe the you can play use it with paddle? Maybe. Cool. Tax scan and Astro Blast. Oh, yeah. paddle or joystick. Oh. Oh. oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Because on the Intellivision, it was just joystick. Yeah. And people like the paddle version of it on the Atari 2600. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's very cool. But it's not homebrew, so you'll never see it on this show. Yeah. <laughs> well. No. Maybe for something Maybe. special. After dark. After dark, yes. For a high score. But mm -hmm. there's no there's no high scores for that, I don't think. No. Nope. No, you'd mm. have to go against the general public, I guess. I guess so. Um so thanks for hanging out with us. Let's just quickly go over what's coming up on the schedule. I did it I did nope, don't do that. Uh, Noxious. Tanya played my paddle shooter during the marathon. Oh. oh okay. When we had the, the paddles, right? Mm, impossible with the joystick. Uh -huh. um, so, coming up. Oh, that's way too small. Oh, that's messy, but oh well. <laughs> so, this is what we did today. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to be doing Atari 2600 Work in Progress Original, Original. Imports. Nice. That's on Friday. Uh, then next Tuesday, we'll be doing 7,800 original, uh, completed original ports. And then the next Friday after that, we'll be doing Atari 7,800 work in progress, original imports. And then the Sunday, because that's the last day to vote, mm -hmm. we'll be finishing up with Atari 8-bit 5200 and Atari Lynx and packaging. And that'll be at noon on a Sunday. Okay. Very unusual time, but we have Gotta to get it. it in there. Yeah. Gotta squeeze it in there. Yeah. And then um, you need some time to prepare for the awards. So. And yeah. then uh, it gives me six days to kind of get finish your up stuff together. Yeah. yeah, and set things up. Yeah, Sunday. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Crazy on a weekend. I know. Um, and then the event, which is on February twelfth at noon, Saturday following that Sunday. Mm -hmm. Then we have a little, sh not too short of a break, but yeah. it's it's a break about a, three weeks. 
Uh, then we'll be back. Mm -hmm. Regular scheduled programming. Yes. And I've already scheduled the first game, which is Ruby Q. Nice. Which is the Qbert. I know. Uh, which is the Darcy Day, so you, <laughs> you are not going to be tortured with that one. Um, I don't... Yeah. <laughs> Ruby Q's awesome, awesome version of Qbert. <laughs> Exclusive final build of Ruby Q. Oh, excellent. Final build. Unless Very there's nice. bugs or something. Yeah. Um and then coming up, maybe in March, March, April, Atari Age Day 2022. We get to open up the packaging, look at all the brand new games coming to you soon. Get exclusive first looks at all the packaging. Atari Age. Yep, Atari Age Day 2022. That's a fun day for Tanya. She I gets to it. play games all day love long. It. And we get to interview all the developers. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to have the ZPH, the game release and cartridge giveaway. And Tanya's going to be making... Oh, they're touching each other. <gasps> Are they sticking? Yeah. 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 They're uh, a little tacky. They're, they're not too bad. So we'll be including things like this. Yeah. Probably smaller than this, but you never know. Yeah. In ZPH... Uh, oh. But anyway, you guys have seen it. Um, the shiny coasters or little necklaces or, or something. Or keychains. Key I have little keychains, key too. Keychains, yes. Yeah. Uh, for ZPH the game. Um, and it will be doing possibly the four-player uh, day that day. Mm. Just to combine them together, possibly. Uh, we have... Some other oh no there's the multiplayer marathon down there oh excellent uh, it's kind of you don't have up. the dates yet you don't know i have know. no idea yeah it's gonna get fit in there but... uh mule from 5200 yeah electro ball you've already got it lined up that's yeah. a two-player game but... warring worms nice. medieval mayhem Vroom. beer pong warring worms nice. Vroom. so i already have uh, electro ball on there so i don't need to add it um and then Atari's 2600's 45th birthday marathon. Mm. Um, that'll be over probably three days. I'll have to calculate that out. We'll be playing every single 2600 game yes. ever made. Yeah. Except for some. <laughs> so I think there's like 400, for 400 titles. I don't know how we're going to do that. That's crazy. But we're going to get rid of a lot of them and keep them to the main ones. Not the main the titles weird, or the major, the major, ones. the major companies, right? Yes. Yeah. Like Activision. All right, here they are. Atari, yeah. Activision, 20th Century Fox, Absolute, Apollo, CBS, Coleco, Data Age, Epix, Magic, M Network, Parker Brothers, Sega, Spectrovision, Starpath, Telesis, US Games, Xonox, and Zymag. Wow. If I'm saying all those right. Wow. Yeah, so it's probably th two to three hundred. I'll have to add them all up. Mm -hmm. And we'll be doing them in, oh, Frogo too? Okay, I'll have to add that. Firefly. <laughs> no. But we'll probably play that custom. We won't. I don't think we'll be playing those games. No. But, but we might. Th those are well-known games. Yeah. They're terrible. They're terrible. They're like terrible on many levels. <laughs> um, oof. <laughs> oof. Yeah. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, they'll be limited to like three to five minutes each game. Yeah, you're gonna have a timer. Boom, 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 it's like boom. Like bang, bang, bang. Dee, 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 dee. Timer goes off. Yeah. We switch games. Yeah. Yeah, really, really quick. And I'll have a list of them. Now that's after dark. It'll be a long day. Yeah. A long, long day. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'll have to mark down which are paddle games. We have to switch and which one's which. Oh, we'll be doing them in release order. So starting in 1977 mm. and going to 1992. Mm. Um, so all of them in order so we can see the progression of the technology of the 2600 mm. as it progresses through. When I first showed my kid Stella, the first game he opened was Custer's Revenge. Oh, terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Bad news. Well, what was, what was it that... Uh... It's rapey. <laughs> Is it? It's oh, rapey and no, racist. Oh, that's not good. Rapey and racist. <laughs> good that's combo. Not... Oh, You're my like, God. um, no. Bad, bad, bad. Uh, I thought it was just hard when you said that, oh, so... No, no. Okay. It's that's... probably one of the worst games ever to be released. Oh, no. On any platform ever. Oh, no. But it's in 8-bit, so it's like, oh, it's not terribly graphic, but yeah. it is at the same time. Yes. You know what they're getting at. That's all you need to know. He couldn't tell what was going no, on. Oh, no. <laughs> That's good. Uh, yeah. um, so lots of uh, fun things coming up on the show. Mm. I'm 
excited. Busy, busy, busy. So many things. So many things. All the things. It was offensive, even the 80s. Yeah. And so that, now, that's saying a lot. <laughs> and so. they are very collectible. Oh, I bet. Day. They're yeah. just, because you could only mail order them or buy them in like adult stores. Really? So they're super low numbers. Oh, of them. I see. Yeah. 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 Um, same with the Tar horror... 2600, dude. I have a sealed box copy. There you go. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm sure. And same with like um, uh, Texas Ma Chainsaw Massacre and oh, yeah. Halloween. Those were yeah. very limited games. Yeah, I can see that. Because they weren't sold in, in regular, regular stores. stores. They didn't yeah. sell them to kids, I'm sure. Oh, fell asleep. Press oh. button. There's another thing that's fallen asleep. Right oh, there. is he on is the camera? He is on the camera. He oh, is. He is sleepy. Let's see that. He is full. Cat oh, you butt. can just see his cat butt. Yeah. He is full of treats and he is <laughs> fast asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, leave it that way. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. There's no reason to open that game. No. Are you sure? There's yeah. a cartridge in the box. Yeah. It could be a little brick. No. <laughs> a little brick. Uh, we're done and we're going to be back on Friday to do some more nominated games, finish up the 2600. So thank you for joining us. Vitoko, Mike Soul, Ivory Tower Collections, mm. Tar 2600 dude, Charles Wynn. These, these are the hardcore people. Yeah. Lasted <laughs> Stay to right the end. to the end. RC7E, Nostalgic 26, Aeroform Official. Uh, who else? Uh, Phaser Cat Games. Every Tower Collections. I know we've said them already. Mm, Ooh, Arena Foot. Arena Foot. Lopta. Iopta. I always get it wrong. I, I think always it's forget. all lowercase, so it's Lopta. Lopta. I, I get it wrong every time, so. Oh, Dan ABC. Dan. Analog 1975. Yeah, Charles Wheland. I'm repeating names. That's okay. As long as you uh, say it once. Oh, I think we almost Phaser got everyone. Yep, yeah, that's yep. the top. Yay. So, it helps I'm in your time zone. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Render it's Ghost too... did it. Yay. Old style. Old style. Woo! Oh. You... What was that? Oh. Where was that? It was on the shelf. Oh. Well, that's okay. Just leave it. Uh, thank you for watching, Dan. I can try and play and I watch videos and vote. Yay. Yes. For the people who. Um, yeah. Play along. Play along. Casualty. Yep. Galaga yeah. casualty. Mm. So. It did fall fall from the ceiling <laughs> came down and attacked me and i didn't shoot Does it look in time like that. yeah that's right did not shoot it in time because you didn't have two ships right no just, just one single ship sad yeah um so we'll see you on friday and uh so have a good week mm -hmm. everyone Bye bye bye